Um, good day, everybody. How are you all doing? Today, we are going to talk about a two-sample t-test. So without further ado, I'll share my computer screen with you. Okay. Two sample t-test, independent sample. Problem, two catalysts are being analyzed to determine how they affect mean yield of a chemical process. Let mu1 and mu2 denote the mean yield obtained by using catalyst 1 and 2 respectively on the basis of respectively period. On the basis of random sample of size 10 from each process, the following data were obtained. X1 bar equal to 30, X2 bar equal to 40, S1 square is equal to that's 3 and S2 square equal to 4. At 5% level of significance, uh, can you conclude the population means are different? Assume the populations are normally distributed with unequal variances. Notice uh, we do not know the population standard deviation. So we will use two sample t-test to solve this problem. So use two sample t-test use ti 84 calculator okay so we will Press the STAT button in the calculator and then highlight tests and then we will scroll down we will scroll down to two sample t-test t-test on the calculator screen Okay, so stat, test, and we scroll down to two sample t-test, not z-test. Okay, and then the input should be on stats because we know the summary stats. We enter the data, x1 bar is 30, sx1 is square root of 3, so it's 1.732, n1 is 10, x2 bar is 40, sx2 is square root of 4, which is 2, n2 is 10. And our alternate hypothesis is mu1 not equal to mu2. So at this point, maybe I should write the null hypothesis is mu1 equal to mu2. And my alternate h sub a is mu1 not equal to mu2. So I'll calculate a test statistic T, which is my test statistic. That means it's a characteristic of the two samples that we have uh, gathered. So we scroll down to also make sure the pool is no because the variances of the two populations are not equal. So we will not pull them. So pool is no and go down to calculate and hit enter. So the test statistic value works out as minus 11.95, 11.95, okay? So let me write that again so that there is uh, no is equal to minus 11.95. Let me erase what I got. So I'll erase this. Yeah. So test statistic is equal to minus, this is the minus sign, 11.95. As you can see from the high negative value or very low negative value of test statistic, it's way in the left tail. And the p-value associated with this uh, test statistic is 6.8 e 
minus 10. That means it is 0 0.0000000000. 000 000. And then 6, which is almost equal to 0. Our alpha value is given to us is 0 0.05. So P is less than alpha. Decision reject 80. Reject 80. So if we reject 80, then our conclusion will be just give me a minute. So uh, we reject eight zero and then I go back to here. Okay. So our conclusion is at alpha equal to point zero five, there is enough evidence to support enough evidence to support. H A, which states mu one is not equal to mu two. There is another way we can do this test. Okay, so again we press the stat button. Test. So I'll just briefly write the steps here. Stat. Then highlight test on the top row. Then we scroll down to. Two sample T interval. So scroll down. Two sample T interval on the calculator. Okay, and hit enter. So input should be on stats. Nothing changes. Just make sure the C level is 0 0.95 and pulled is no because we are not pulling the. Uh, variances together and we calculate. Remember our null hypothesis is mu1 equal to mu2 and our alternate is mu1 not equal to mu2. That means our null hypothesis is mu1 minus mu2 equal to 0 and our alternate h sub a is mu1 minus mu2 not equal to zero. So let's look at our 95% CI. Okay. So okay. Uh, so we will look at our 95% confidence interval. So we are looking at the 95% confidence interval interval for the difference in for mu1 minus difference in two population means. And that interval as given by the two sample t interval is minus 11.76 comma minus 8.24. That means with 95% confidence we can state we can state that the actual value of mu1 minus mu2 mu1 minus mu2 will fall in between minus 11.76 and minus 8.24. So notice zero is outside the interval. Hence, we can reject H zero. So basically, we reach the same decision to reject H0 and
Ja. So. Reject H0 and we support H1 or alternate hypothesis which states mu1 minus mu2 is not equal to zero. So we reach the same conclusion and same decision either by two sample t-test or by a two sample t-interval calculation. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, you write me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I'm coming back next time with another interesting problem. So if you like this video, please tell your friends and also please give me a like, hands up. I appreciate that. And please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a nice day.